pretty excited to be a Phoenix Sun. Uh, I know they're a pretty young team. Um, I think that's really special though because coming in, you know, I think we could learn a lot together and over the years we could be something really special and just being able to grow together, I think that'll make our team chemistry a lot better. I think I bring toughness, versatility, being able to guard one through four on the defensive end and also being able to play one through four on the offensive end. And as I watch today's NBA basketball league, you know, versatility is probably the most important thing in this league today. So I think it'll be really special. Josh, Adam Lockley, NBA Draft.net. Congratulations on getting drafted. Thank you. Your mother played college basketball at the University of Texas, El Paso. Is there any lesson you learned in basketball from your mother that she'll take to the NBA? Um, well, you know, my mom has taught me so much, you know, on and off the court. She's taught me a few moves that I still use to this day. Um, and just being such a competitor, you know, I think that really got my competitive spirit from her. Uh, when she was in college, high school, middle school, playing, you know, she was the exact same way. She hated to lose. And I think that's, you know, the most special thing about me. And, uh, you know, I get it from her. And what quality of your game makes you, in your opinion, the best player in this draft? I think my versatility, um, just my competitive spirit. I don't think uh, the other guys in this draft really care as much as I do. I don't think they play as hard as I do, period. So uh, I think that's what really makes me special. Um, I refuse to fail, period. Josh, Steve Kyler, Basketball Insiders, right here in the center. First of all, congratulations. Uh, through this process, it seemed like the Suns had locked in on you and you guys had locked in on the Suns. What was it about the Suns situation that made you comfortable to maybe not work out with some other teams? Uh, well, the only team I didn't work out for at the top of the draft was the Celtics, and that was due to you know scheduling. So um, I was excited to be on any team at the top of the draft, to be honest, uh, whether it was Philly, Boston, LA, I felt like you know the type of player that I am, I you know could fit anywhere. But when I look at Phoenix and I see uh, you know that they are so young and you know kind of need a three, somebody to come in and play that three spot, and I feel like that's my favorite position to play. That's where I'm the most comfortable. Uh, I automatically just get excited when I see stuff like that. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Josh Lloyd, Carol, Queens Chronicle. I know you said your mom played in El Paso, which has kind of a similar climate to Phoenix. Particularly this time of year, 120 degrees, yeah. extremely hot. Did mom tell you the importance of staying hydrated? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has told me the importance of staying hydrated. Um, she tries to get me to drink a lot of water, more than I think I should, to be honest. But Unfortunately, one of the occupational hazards out there is kidney stones and, uh, and others, so you really do have to stay, stay hydrated. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm trying to stay away from the kidney stones. There you go, please. <laughs> Josh, Matt Norlander, CBS Sports. I'm watching you on the recruiting trail over the years, talking with Bill about your competitive spirit. You just mentioned that. I was wondering if you, if you feel more gratitude for being selected or perhaps a competitive edge that you weren't picked higher because there were plenty of talent evaluators that rate you as the best prospect in this class and that you fall to four. Where do you fall right now in having this sense of thankfulness for being drafted, but maybe a little bit of a drive like, I can't believe three teams passed on me? Well, yeah, I feel a little bit of both sides of what you said. Um, if you ask me, of course I'm going to say I'm the best player in this draft. But if you ask those other guys, they're going to say you know the same thing about themselves, I'm sure. But um, just. I love competition and I love proving people wrong. So, you know, I, I, I've been drafted to Phoenix and I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna make the best of it. I'm gonna be the best player I can be. And, um, you know, those teams who didn't draft me, one day they will be sorry. I just have one quick follow if that's okay. Um, for those that might follow college basketball casually, obviously I know you've spoken on this many times, but just here on draft night. Uh, some clarification if there might be any character concerns considering the issue that you had off the court at Kansas. If you can kind of speak to that and why that might not necessarily represent who you are as a person on the floor. I don't think it really represents who I am. Um, you know, I, I made a mistake that day. I did. I admitted to it from day one when, you know, it was brought up. And um, 
I think it was the whole situation was really blown out of proportion uh, just because, you know, I am who I am. Reporters want to make a story and, you know, get themselves a name. But uh, everyone who was close to the situation and, you know, everyone who I've talked to about it, they know exactly what happened that day. And uh, it was nothing that, it wasn't what it was made out to be. It didn't, it wasn't as bad as, you know, everybody made it out to be. But I have owned up to the mistake I made and I accept the responsibility for it from day one. Hi Josh, John Lemoncelli, Penske Media. Now that you're officially in the NBA, is there anybody on your list that you're just dying to play against? Uh, well, Draymond Green, of course. Uh, I've been knowing him for a long time now. And uh, I've watched him grow since he was in high school and playing at Michigan State. And um, he's kind of exactly how I am in terms of, you know, being competitive and a little bit of trash talking. Uh, so I'm really excited to get out there and be able to play against him. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of great players in this league. Uh, LeBron James, one of the best players in the world, Kevin Durant. Um, I, I really want to get out there and, you know, see where I stack up against some of the best players in the world. Hi, Josh. Lee Allman, NBA.com. I saw that you, congratulations first. Of Thank all. you. I saw that you had Coach Self at your table tonight. Can you just speak on kind of what he's meant to you in this past year, kind of having him in your life? Well, through the, the recruiting process, um, Coach Self has always been amazing. Uh, my time at Kansas, he made amazing for me. And um, before I even decided to go to Kansas, I always felt that he cared about me more than a basketball player. He cared about me as a man. He wanted me to be the best man that I could be. And um, that was one of the biggest reasons I chose to go to Kansas. And, uh, you know, it speaks to his character today, you know, coming out and being able to support me and um, just being here for me. It shows that, you know, he really cares. Did he have any message for you after you were selected or anything like that? I haven't talked to him since I've been selected, but I'm sure he will. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're all set. Keep drinking. I will.